Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Miami's Guide 2. Welcome to Birmingham, baby. I know that's right. Let's get it. Ahead of our away game against Aston Villa, Wolverhampton has sent me to Birmingham, baby. Welcome to the Bull Ring, baby. I know that's right. Time to get some chicken wings from Wingstop. It's been a while since I had some Wingstop. I can't lie. You know what time it is. Let's get it. We at Wingstop right now. Wingstop is an American chain owned by Rick Ross and a few other people. It's lit. It's time to get some lemon pepper chicken wings, baby. With over 27 years of serving chicken wings to the public, it's no wonder they expanded into the UK. And rapper and businessman Rick Ross owns over 25 of these franchises, baby. Ugh, I know that's right. We're gonna go straight in with the lemon pepper with the ranch dip. This the but mm, yeah. This the lemon pepper. Now get the lemon pepper right. Focusy, focusy, focus on it. Now get it. Let's go. All the flavors is right. It's cooked all the way to the bone like I like it, but it ain't overcooked. Still juicy at the same time. Fancy, no bubbles. Listen, one thing about the two things for sure, them boys is glazed good, them boys is spicy, them boys is sweet. Everything's just right. I know that's right. We should have these in the stands at Wolves. Or maybe I should have fried some chicken, baby. I know that's right. All right, guys, that was Wingstop. We just had six lemon pepper and six habanero. Let me tell you something about Wingstop. That it was fire. I know that's right. And if you come to Birmingham, you got to check out the bull ring. This is where all the shopping is. This is where the money bull is. The Birmingham bull, baby. I know that's right. Ready for good luck? <laughs> <laughs> While this week's away game is against Aston Villa, Birmingham is actually a city of two football teams. I know that's right. Welcome to Birmingham City. Opened in 1906, St. Andrews Stadium has been a fixture in Birmingham's small heat community for over a century, baby. I know that's right. St. Andrews, baby. You gotta love it. Or oh, hate it. Now, you know I couldn't come to Small Heath without visiting the Garrison Pub where the Peaky Blinders used to hang out, baby. They said this where the gangsters with the razor blades and they caps used to hang out. The boys were kind of vicious. The Peaky Blinders. Because them peaks were blinded. Imagine that. Imagine that. The Garrison. Now, the Garrison Pub might not be Pablo Escobar's hacienda, but it was home to one of the most notorious gangs in Birmingham. The Peaky Blinders, baby. The Garrison definitely has seen better days. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Why was all the signs? It was a field fight, yeah? <laughs> it was a field fight. <laughs> you know what? People shook planes up back for Jersey. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. Is this your shop? Blinders, yeah, Since man. 87. No, I'm just walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have something fresh, like a, um, is that ham? Ham, yeah. A ham and salad, but ham not, salad. yeah, ham salad. Is that American mustard? American mustard, it's English man, it's England man. It says Heinz on it. Yeah, but the Heinz got shut down, it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> I it's know it. that's right, big T. At the deli. <laughs> What's poppin' Wolverhampton fans? We're back to Mr. Miami's Guide 2, and we're just walking up the Trinity Road stand side to Villa Park, baby. Let's go. Let me tell you something about Villa Park. It is absolutely huge. Now, this is what I think a football stadium would look like if I were to imagine what a football stadium looked like. It looks big. It looks like an American-sized stadium. It takes up the entire area that it's in. It's not in one location. So I think it's a bit of a vibe. And it's been here since 1874, baby. Shout out to Smokey Joe's. Who knows? Might have to come and get something for Smokey Joe's. Dirty Burger, babe. Yeah, I'm definitely having something for Smokey Joe's. Look, look at this. Dirty Burger. Now that sounds like a heart attack, diabetes, and everything in one. Let's get it. Founded in 1874 in the Aston area of Birmingham, Villa Park has survived two world wars. I know that's right. It's like its own little fort within a fort. It's crazy. Shout out to Aston Villa on how they built their stadium. Shout out to the architect. 
While Aston Villa may have hosted over 55 FA Cup semifinals, some of the more fun facts about Villa are Billy Graham once hosted a prayer meeting here with over 257,000 people. Bruce Springsteen once played two dates here in the 1980s, and Prince William is a fan. I knew I liked Harry better. You know what time it is, let's get it. Birmingham is known as the second city, and we can spend all day showing you around. But well, we came to where the money's at, baby. Welcome to the Jewelry Quarter. I know that's right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you're coming down to Birmingham, you have to check out St. Paul's Square. Just behind me, you have the Jam House and Soda and Bread. I know that's right. We couldn't come to the Jewelry Quarter without mentioning the famous Chamberlain Memorial Clock. It only cost 350 pounds to make in 1908. 1903 or 1908? I forgot what the sign said. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a... You're like a the Chamberlain Memorial Clock, like a small version of Uncle Ben, or Big Uncle Ben's rice. No, Big Ben, not Uncle Ben. That's <laughs> <laughs> Big Ben's nephew. <laughs> Look how they got it lit up around the sides and stuff. Looks real old, 1903. Older than your mama's mama. <laughs> now, the jewelry quarter has over 250 years of history here. They got jewelry makers. Watchmakers, watch repair, ring makers. A lot of people have gotten their engagement rings from here, their wedding rings from here. It's just a beautiful place. One thing about it, two things for sure. The jewelry quarter has enough jewelers in here to make Liberace raise from the dead. I know that's right. All right, everybody, we've come to the end of Mr. Miami's Guide to Birmingham. We've been to Villa Park. We've been to St. Andrews, the Birmingham Town Center, and even the Bull Ring and Ring Stop, baby. Can't forget those rings. I know that's right. Let's get back to Wolverhampton now. Wolves, ain't we? Oh. <laughs> Birmingham. The people were great, the food was great, the city was great. Until next time, this has been Mr. Miami's Guide 2. <laughs> I know that's right. Let's get it. Wolverhampton on the map. <laughs>